Hi everyone, it's Miss Lynn here. Today I am going to read you a special story. It's called Friends Are Friends Forever by Dane Liu, illustrated by Lynn Scurfield. I hope you enjoyed the book. Friends Are Friends Forever, written by Dane Liu, illustrated by Lynn Scurfield. Friends are friends forever. In our town, the winter howls. Heavy flakes swarm and glaze the earth. Kish, skish, Yu Yun and I slide, holding on to each other. She is my neighbor and my best friend. Together, we titter, shimmer, and giggle to school. Days before Lunar New Year, my parents say we're moving. Far away, Dan Dan, when will you come back? Yun Yun asks. I kick snow. I don't know. On Luna New Year's Eve, the grown-ups bustle, their faces swallowed by steam. Crunchy vegetables skid around the walk. Flame red chilies speckle silky noodles. Batches of dumplings jiggle in boiling water. Nai Nai fishes our dumplings. Eat more tonight. She wipes her eyes with the corner of her apron, so you never forget Nai Nai's dumplings. We dip them in black vinegar and soy sauce. We bite into the egg and chai filling. Mmm. Yun Yun licks her lips. The best, I say. Nai Nai's story chime in my ears. Garlic and ginger tickle my nose. I close my eyes to remember everything. When the grown-ups start their card game, Yun Yun pokes me. She and I have our own New Year's Eve tradition. We pleat red papers, zigzag our scissors, and unfold. We sink our cutouts in water, stretch strings across the metal plates, and step carefully into the cold. Our best snowflakes yet, Yun Yun says, and my last. My voice shivers. Hiss, boom, crack. She grabs my hand and pulls me toward the flashing fireworks. At dawn, our families sleep. Yun Yun and I race. We knock on our plates. Clunk. The circles pop out. We hang our ornaments high and proud. We watch them spin and shimmer in the sunlight. I got you something, Yun Yun says. A stack of red paper, a spoon of string, so you can make new cutouts with a new friend in America. Yun Yun and I hug, not letting go. She whispers, "Friends are friends forever." China to the United States. No more breakfast at Grandma Tai's cart, dipping fresh curlers in hot honey soy milk. Here I eat alone. No more threading through traffic, honking and howling. Here streets are roomy and neat. No more dreaming to the neighbors' laughter and checkmates. Our courtyard lullaby. Here nights are silent and still. I watch other kids slide. I hear them giggle, but when I come near, the circles close, and I can't say anything. I race to learn a hundred words a day. Sometimes I get ten. Sometimes only three. Every night I fall asleep hugging a list in my dictionary. Winter comes. Leaves fall, no snow. I tuck Yun Yun's gift deep, deep under my bed. On my birthday, I wear a satin dress. My classmates snicker. You look awesome, a girl smiles. She shows me her artwork. Red's my favorite color too. 
Christina and I share an easel. She untangled words that my dictionary does not. We build forts and whispers our secrets. With Christina, my voice blooms. Remember this? She raises her hand. High five, I say. We clap our palms and giggle. On Luna New Year's Eve, my parents bustle in the kitchen. We peek under my bed. What is it? Christina asks. I remember Union's wish and slowly take out the bundle. I show Christina how to pleat, zigzag, and unfold. Beautiful, she says. But we can't freeze them. I tell her, it's not cold here. How about a freezer? She nudges me. Great. We dunk our cutouts in cake pans and slide them in. That night, I pour black vinegar and soy sauce onto Christina's plates and rubber band her chopsticks. The way I learned. We eat steaming dumpling, play cards with Mama and Baba, and laugh. At dawn, we dash to the grumbling machine and knock on the pans. Clunk. We hang our ornaments high and proud, and watch them glisten and melt. I like New Year. I like Luna New Year. Christina smiles. I like being your friend. Me too. I stand a little taller. Friends are friends forever. The end. I hope you enjoy the story. By now, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a snowflake using paper. At the end of the book, it shows you how to do that. So let's do that quickly with me. So we're going to fold the paper in half. You're going to need um, a square shape. So I have a six by six inch square paper. And we start with folding the paper into a rectangle. And then we fold this again in half. So this will turn into a square. Now we're going to turn this into a triangle. So we're going to connect the, match the corners and fold this in half. If your paper is um, a little thick, then it might be a little bit harder for you to cut. So try to get thin paper, like copy paper, maybe origami paper would be perfect. So now we have the triangle and all you have to do is to cut out some shapes along the edges. So I find that the triangle is easy to cut. Make a little triangle like this. You can try different shapes. You can do a little rectangle. If your paper is very thick, after folding a few times, there are like six papers combined, right? So it gets very thick. So I would suggest you hold the scissor and you use the center of the scissor like put the paper all the way in like this and really push and press down with your fingers work those muscles in your fingers so if, if you hold it like this and you're using the tip then you're not using too much pressure so it's harder to cut right so let's try cutting out little small shapes if you have big shapes i would save them because we can make something out of it too. Um, I mean the big scraps. So like these big scraps, I like to save them so I can make um, some decorations later. Let's say you have five or six shapes cut along the edges and you can open and see how this uh, snowflake look like. Because we are celebrating the Lunar New Year we are using red color. If you want to make the snowflake using white or blue or even purple, that would be perfect too. So we open it and then you'll see you have a cutout. I have another square that I could use to use it as a backing and I can glue this down to make it look like a really nice paper cutout project. And the, the, um, the scraps that I save, if you want to use it to add some decoration, 
you can certainly do that and make it look more interesting. With these big shapes that I saved, I could even add more designs along the edges. You can save these to make this, make the corners more interesting. Okay, and then we just glue this down and you can even add some decorations or write some words like Chinese greetings for the new year. Um, I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.